Today on Homebrew Terrain, we make the bridge. Hey, my name is Aaron, and welcome to Homebrew Terrain. So today we're going to build a little bridge out of toilet paper rolls, some straws for pipe works, and then of course uh, we do want to have some kind of a railing system, even though it's going to be pretty narrow like a catwalk. Uh, and then of course the cardboard that we're going to use to cut it out. So again, uh, we're going to do things a little bit differently than we did making the towers because uh, I don't want to use, I don't want to cut the slits on the sides of these toilet paper rolls because it'll shrink them down a little bit and it'll make them a little too small. And then I'll have to brace them up or bolster them with something. And I don't really want to do that. Um, I mean, you can. There's a lot of cool ways you can do that, um, and and I might end up doing that anyway. But we'll we'll find out anyway. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is measure the length of uh, of cardboard that I want to use. Now, uh, in this particular case, because I'm running between those two towers, and they're both pretty big, you know that the base on these things is pretty enormous. So I don't want to run them. Uh, a very long thing because they're already taking up a huge chunk of terrain on the table. Uh, so this is going to be a relatively small bridge. So we're just going to run it probably about 10 centimeters is about how long I want it to be. And I'm going to make it at the width of uh, two, two bases. So if I take the uh, big hairy arm there, if I take the, uh, I want to run the length of two bases. So if I take uh, two of these bases here and I measure them across, that's how I want this to be. Um, and so that's how you're going to see it here when I get it all measured up. So I'm going to measure this up real quick, draw it up, and show you what I'm talking about. So I used my Escher model to uh, measure out her base twice here. And when I did that, uh, it came up with about five centimeters across. And then, of course, uh, because I was measuring things out here with, the, with my lovely uh, toilet paper rolls here, I wanted them to be at least a base width, a little bit more than a base width across, because if I don't, you always know that no matter how well you plan out your game, some jag wagon is going to try to drive drive a tank through here. You know, it's it's always going to what does it say? Anyway, so uh, or or even worse, they're going to park their tank behind the thing and try to say that it's mostly obscured or you know whatever garbage they try to say. So uh, I made it a little bit bigger so you can fit a dude through there with a freaking grenade pack and blow it up. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah. I wanted to make it so that these guys could fit through here, and uh, I don't know how well I did, but yeah, good enough, right? Uh, you probably can't even see that, so who cares? But yeah, so it looks like that. Uh, anyway, uh, so because I did that, the bridge the bridge length ended up being 20 centimeters across, or lengthwise, and 5 centimeters across. Uh, now I'm going to cut this bad boy out. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this monster around and I'm going to glue it onto this side. And the reason I'm going to do that is because, again, the striations of the cardboard are going this way. And by flipping it out and cutting it on this side here and having them together, it's going to make it much stronger. And that's going to be a lot more important when you're knocking it around and hitting it with stuff. And even moisture and stuff can cause problems for it when you spill your coffee on it because you're going to spill your coffee on it. It's just a thing. All right. As you can see... I have the piece cut out now, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it onto this piece here, uh, trace it out, and then cut out the next piece, and then glue them together. There's a little bit of glue here. We're going to scrape this off because we don't like it. It's not going to do nice things for us. Um, this is not the kind of glue that you can just ignore. A lot of times you can just ignore glue uh, when you're doing this stuff. And this is not one of those times. Uh, when you have like a real gooey rubber cement that's very, very sticky, it's going to cause all kinds of problems for you. So the best thing to do is just to bite the bullet and scrape it off. Um, I'll just use another piece of cardboard. It's not like this stuff is expensive or hard to come by. You're good at uh, cleaning the mold lines off of models, then this, this won't be too hard of a process for you to do. Now I'm going to take my handy dandy rusty razor blade here and uh, just slice into the cardboard. And you have to stripe it a few times like this because obviously it's cardboard. Always cut away from yourself, except when you don't. Because when you cut towards yourself, you end up in the emergency room with nasty wounds. And the doctor thinks that you're trying to commit suicide. And you have to explain to them, no, I'm not trying to commit suicide quickly. I play Warhammer. And then they go, oh, you're one of those. I have a funny story about that, actually. Remind me to tell you sometime. But not right now, because we got glue stuff to do. So here's the piece that I cut out. Here's this. Notice that the, the striations are going this way. And on this piece, 
the striations on this piece are going this way. And by gluing them together, I make them really strong. Okay. You get the idea. So now what I do, come in here and I use my handy dandy Elmer's glue. Just because I can, and I use uh, this bad boy right here. Let's go. Yay, and just kind of paint it on. Yay, look for me painting it on. How exciting is that? Okay, and then we'll just uh, slide these two together. Thusly. Get it all lined up and party full. And there we have it. That's going to be the actual catwalk. Now, uh, we're going to use this side as the top piece here. And I like that because the striations are going across this way. And we're going to use that uh, glue trick. Uh, so we have a little guide that we can put the glue on. And, um, and it's much easier to do the next steps. First thing, I hate it when the toilet paper roll has these little flappies. Uh, sometimes that happens. What you have to do is you just throw a little glue on that and then just glue it up. And if you don't like getting glue on your fingers, then homebrew is not for you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you want to have at least an easy fit of the model between each one of these guys, which seems like it's about this thus far apart. I would say probably about an inch apart, each one of them. So all in all, the bridge is, you know, pretty close to three inches. And we'll just slap that bad boy on top like this and uh, line it up best we can like that and then of course you see that it's it's kind of not not working here because this particular piece isn't big enough so we're gonna kick this one out we don't like you go away and we'll find another one that doesn't have that problem oh look at that first try there we go and there it is now how are we gonna get this all glued together you ask because there's no surfaces with which to glue there is I'm gonna use hot glue and hot glue can you can just hit it on the edges of these surfaces really quickly and it'll stay quite nicely I might add so let's go ahead and do that we're gonna run some hot glue here along the outside rim oh this toilet paper roll like this and then just stick it down on there blam press it down and we're good to go just like that and I'm going to run some a bead on the outside of it real quick here. And that'll help secure it in place, but of course I have to get more hot glue because why would I have all the things that I need right handily available? That would be organized, and who's got time for that? Not me. Okay. And when that cools, that'll be relatively impervious to all things. Now the cool part is you can just put your little model right down inside here like this. Uh, you can see it. And that can actually tell you really quickly how not to hot glue your model to your base, which is awesome. Show you really quickly how far apart these guys really need to be uh, to give you a better understanding of where you want your dudes to end up. Like that. And then like that. Perfect. Something really awesome like that. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this guy right here and we're gonna do the same thing. Now again, I'm going to run over here and just run some uh, hot glue on the bead on the outside here because that will hold it in place. And there you have it. A bridge for the ages. One to last for all time. You could, you know, yeah, no. Um, but it, it'll work. It's, it's, you know, there you go. And now you could just stop right here if you wanted to and uh, just slap that onto your model and call it done. But we're not going to do that. No, sir. No. Uh, because we want to be OSHA compliant. 
we're going to add railing to this bad boy. Now the easiest way to do this is to take your X-Acto knife and just punch little holes like this in your cardboard every so many inches. Like this. And now I don't want this to look too organized. I want this to look like somebody just kind of slapdashed this on there. Like someone was like, you know what, I have to walk across this damn thing every day and uh, one of these days somebody's going to get killed. So uh, I want to just put a little quick railing up here. And then what we do, take our toothpick and shove it down inside. Usually I can punch through the other side, but apparently this time I can't. I don't like to punch too far with my X-Acto knife because the blade gets exponentially wider as it goes. But for whatever reason, uh, it doesn't want to do it this time, so we're going we're gonna to invite it to. I'm using my thumb here very carefully uh, <laughs> to hold that in place. I just want you to know I'm not stabbing my shell. I'm like, bad, I can't get it to work. I'm so terrible. Okay, now, that should do a lot better. Now, normally it's, see how the blade gets wider and it's wider than I want it to be, but it'll do the job when I do this. Yes. Like that, see? And then I can take my toothpicks and I can invite them to just go all the way through because that's what I want them to do. And then, uh, yeah, that, that's a thing. And that one ended up on the inside, but you know, again, I, I really want this to be more of a slapdash sort of thing. I don't want it to be too hermetically perfect, because that would just be weird in a Necromunda setting, you know what I mean? So when you're done putting your railing together, it'll look something like this. Voila! Now, we're not going to leave it like this, because, you know, that's just, you know. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, take our scissors and we're going to cut these toothpicks. Because we like shooting them across the room and uh, hitting people with them. It's hilarious. So now it's going to look more like that. So. That way, when these dudes run across the rickety bridge, oh, look at that, they could still fall off. You know what I mean? But it's not quite as bad as it was. So now what we're gonna do is even cooler. We're gonna put a little bit of a little string through here, and that's gonna make it look like somebody actually did this on purpose. So I have some twine that I got laying around. Uh, you can use thread or string or twine or you know lint from your pocket I, I mean whatever you want to use I know some people have done uh, hot glue where they use hot glue between the two of these and they kind of make a deep dab on one and dab on the other and they just draw a little bead between them that takes a lot of skill and time and I don't really want to go through all that so what I'm gonna do is way even easier than that I'm gonna take my uh, hot glue gun here and I'm gonna put a little dab uh, right here just like that. And then I'm going to take this string and I'm going to glue it in there like that. So it's nice and tightly in there. And, and of course, when you do this, you, you will burn the crap out of your thumb and that's totally expected and you're supposed to. In fact, it's the right passage as we talked about earlier. I'm just gonna throw a little more hot glue on there just to make sure that that sticks. Now, this is kind of your anchor point. <laughs> I need to come back and trim this up a little bit and make it look a little bit better. But we're going to cool that off, let that uh, get stuck on there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come here and we're just going to wrap it around. It doesn't even have to be tight. In fact, if you want to make it loose, it's fine. We're going to do this little sort of needle work through here like this. Unless the thread gets caught on something else. And again, you don't want to pull it too tight because 
it will uh, it'll mess up your your little toothpicks. They're just stuck in there after all. I'm trying to do this without getting my hand in the way here. It's been really hard. Maybe if I do it with my other hand. Ah! See, and then it comes undone because it gets caught. Dang it! You suck. Again, patience is the key here. And then on your final piece, when you get to the very end over here, you want to pull this one a little bit tight and then kind of pinch it off and then just use a little bit of uh, hot glue to glue it into place. Um, because burning your finger is super important. That's what we do here. Uh, we are the, the cabal of burnt fingers. Yep, that's super hot. <laughs> okay, and there you have it. Uh, that's what it looks like on, on the bridge piece there. There we go. And then you take your scissors and you just clip it off. And you have yourself a little bit of a walkway. Now, if you want to do yourself a big, huge favor, because at some point you're going to pull one of these pieces off and the whole thing is going to come undone, the best thing to do is take Elmer's here and go through and wait for it to come out. Make a little bit of a dab on every one of these bad boys, just like this. Use your finger, just kind of mess it around like that, you know, just get, kind of get it worked in so that it's not going to go anywhere. And this will keep the, uh, the twine for, or the string or whatever you're using, you know, dental floss actually works pretty good too. Um, and, Use that down in there. It'll keep the knot from, from sliding off the, the little post here. Just like that. And you can actually use this on medieval bridges as well as futuristic stuff. Um, that's kind of the cool part about this. And so there you go. Now it's ready to rock and roll. Once this bad boy dries up, uh, it'll be ready to, uh, to put some paint and texture on. We're going to add some pipe works to it as well because why wouldn't we? I got all these straws. I'm going to use them. Now, now it's true that straws are the great and terrible thing of the world and we're all going to die because of them, uh, which is why we've stopped making them and blah, blah, blah. But I went out and bought a pack of these from the dollar store, uh, and these are awesome for making pipelines and pipe works and all kinds of cool stuff, especially the bendy ones, because obviously you can curve them. And so uh, you can basically make these into whatever. Okay, so for the bridge piece itself right here, I'm going to be adding some pipe works along here. Uh, I'm going to be using these bendy straws here to do it. It's going to look pretty awesome when I'm done, but I'm going to show you how it's done. First thing is you're going to need more than one bendy straw together. And the way you do that is very simple. Uh, what I do, you come up here to where the end is, and then you just cut a little slit down the side of the bendy straw as long as you need it to be. So, like, in this particular case, it would just be... I can't see it very well on the camera. There we go. So I would just cut it down to there. And then I take the straw that I'm going to put together with it and I will cut the end off where I need it to be. Like for instance, uh, I want it to be this long, say, like this. Cut that bad boy off. And then what I'll do is I'll take the end that I'm going to stick into the other tube or the other part of it and I'll cut it at a 45 degree angle like this. So then I have this kind of a look to it. And then you can take the part that's been cut, so you can see where it's been cut right here. And then you can slide this one into that one up to that point. And then they're connected. And you have two bendy straws that you can use. And then to cover this, what I do is I take this white cardstock that you're seeing here. It's just regular cardstock that you can buy from a grocery store for $5. Get a whole pack of this stuff. You cut it into strips like this, right? And then, uh, so when you have a strip of this, and then you just wrap that on here like this, and you just glue it down, and then just wrap it around like this until you get a length that you're happy with. And then you have these little joints that look pretty cool when you're done painting them. And then you add little little rivet beads to it and stuff. So it actually looks pretty cool beans when you're done. So I will put that all together and show you what it looks like on the bridge. Just put a little glue down inside there because why not? And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my uh, cut piece here. 
and I'm gonna stripe the glue off the side of it here and then just stick that down in there. Okay, so then it's gonna look like this. Da -da 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 and I can bend this however I want to because it's a bendy straw. All right, but you want to try to keep it from being, you know, not as bent as it could be. So you want to work it a little bit, you know. Uh, so as it's uh, glued into place there, so you see that I've got it so that it's set up. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue this bad boy on here. Now we're going to run the pipe works on the outside of the bridge here because, you know, it's easier to get to and work on. Uh, I know it's not an American thing to do. America, we don't like to put uh, pipes on the outside of our houses like you do in the UK because, you know, that would be easy and it would make sense and uh, who, who does that who who makes life easy and makes sense for themselves I mean not us apparently no we like crawling under houses with snakes and bugs and horrible things and you know who knows what else and so it'll end up looking like that Ta -da! And then we're gonna go ahead and do another one because we're awesome like that. This one's gonna sit like this because why wouldn't it? So we're gonna take this and we're gonna go snip it and then flip it and then flipperty jip it. Well, we know what we wanna do here. So now we're gonna glue it up. And now we're gonna take this lovely little strapping here I'm gonna glue this on because why wouldn't we? It's way more than we're gonna need, by the way, so we'll just go ahead and cut it there. In fact, when you cut it, you wanna kinda of keep it as even as you can because you don't want it to look too bad. All right, give me this stupid thing. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue this bad monster on there like this. In fact, you know what? I'm just gonna dab it with a little bit of hot glue because I'm weird like that. Okay, so the hot glue's on there and then the paper is gonna go blam like that. And I made sure that I hot glued it on the other side of the little slit that I cut, because if I don't do that, then this isn't going to go in there and I'm gonna look really stupid on camera again. That's how we spent so much time dealing with this one because it actually has a little bit of a structural integrity to it. Uh, whereas the, uh, the rest of these are not gonna be so structural. Um, they're just purely decorative. For so you can see one, one of these strips will take you a long way. And just roll it up nice and tightly. And then we just go da 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 da, just trim it off. And then we'll just take it in the middle here and go, boom. Little shot of hot glue. Smacking it on there. Burn the crap out of your fingers because that's what we do. And then we just roll it up. See, and even then it didn't work very well, did it? So what I'm gonna have to do here is just uh, give this a little shot of hot glue. Then we're gonna stick this guy on here like that. And then we're gonna go like that. And then burn the crap out of our fingers because that's important, it's an important part of it. So there we go. Now we've done all this. Yay, and it looks so magnificent. And everyone's amazed at how amazing the amazement is. Amazing, isn't it? Okay, 
Uh, and then one last uh, one last little strappy we'll do right here, and then we'll call that good, and then we'll hot glue this bad boy into place here. And uh, yeah, and then we're gonna do some more pipe works off of here that's gonna connect to the towers, but we're not going to uh, hot glue those all together because we don't want the bridge to stay in one spot. We want the bridge to be kind of its own denomaly. So here it is, the completed bridge, as you can see here. I've got uh, the pipe works put onto both sides and the rail work is all done. Um, now what we're going to do here is we're going to paint along here and I don't worry about these little stripes too much. I'm going to paint over those and dry brush it and add it and make it look really cool. Um, and so the bridge itself will sit really nicely uh, right here. Now you can see that I've added some pipe works to the tower itself. And I know what you're thinking to yourself, well hold on a second, how is that going to connect to the the bridge work. Aha! Well, here's the trick. This particular piece of wrapping, unlike these, which are just decorative or holding it in place, this one's a little thicker, and you'll notice that I have another little piece in there. It's called a cuff. So what you do is you take these two and you just connect them together. Like, uh, see how easy that is? See how simple and easy that, that is? No, so you just stick it together like that, and suddenly your pipe works is complete. And so here we have it, the two models right here. You've got the one tower and you've got the bridge in between them with the Elmer's blue bottle in the way. And you've got the bridge in between them. And then you've got your second tower with all the pipe works going to it. Now, if you create this, the same kind of thing going on here, with the little cuffs coming off of here, uh, and then you can run some pipe works up to here and then run that down to here and then you could always uh, run it down below and then back around to this one here so that it all connects together into one piece and it looks really cool. In the previous video I showed you how to paint up the tower which of course you're going to use the same exact techniques to paint the bridge and the other tower and uh, of course that's going to end up looking a lot like this. Also, because the tower with the round base is hollow on the inside, you can stack them by sticking one on top of the other, and it will look something like this. Well, it's true these towers look pretty cool. I have to admit, it would make it even cooler if there was a series of trenches around them. Wouldn't that be so cool? Oh well, too bad we don't have a, oh wait. Yes, we do. <laughs> Join me next time when I teach you how to build the trench works. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed yourself here on Homebrew Terrain.